Hi Aquarius, thank you guys so much for joining me here for your reading. Okay, this is quite similar to the last read that we did and honestly this is really about you guys being a force to be reckoned with and no longer making yourself small to try to fit in or for other people to try to accept you and I feel like for a lot of the crisis that I'm talking to today this is definitely pointing to like a family dynamic of some kind this could just be in any kind of relationships in general but this is going to be a dynamic that's played out in your life so let's go ahead and begin we have the flame coming up as the individual that you guys were dealing with which i honestly feel like is somebody that is in the dark okay this could have been an unconscious person that you guys were dealing with um it could have been somebody that was not yet kind of enlightened to their own divinity and i feel like you guys are somebody who wanted to help this person right now with the storm you guys are again are that force to be reckoned with i feel like the storm is all about chaos i feel like you see the cosmos within the chaos you see the secret order within the disorder of this life and you realize where you could not really control this external factor i feel like with the flame you were trying to blow enough wind by making yourself small right because you're this huge storm but maybe this is like blowing enough information right hoping that somebody would be able to conceptualize what it is that you're saying uh, to keep the fire going but not trying to blow too much to like like blow the fire out completely and make somebody lose hope because there's two completely different basically energies and this could have been you guys being your air sign nature with the storm and the uranus energy with the lightning and it could have been a fire sign that you were dealing with or somebody that was just very kind of like possibly even blinded by pride a little bit in regards to just how much they have to learn and this could have been somebody that was humbled by you um and it just left them feeling like internally hopeless a little bit even though it may be something that they didn't really admit okay there's something around that with this dynamic that i'm picking up on and you're basically realizing that where you cannot control this storm right or the nature of this dynamic or the chaos in this connection you had to surrender to the storm and really focus on your own internal world realizing that in that peaceful center in, in a still sanctuary you would find the eye of the storm right and almost become observant of the way somebody's fire may kind of go on and off and maybe this is somebody saying oh you know one day like i'm really excited about learning about chakras and then you know you talk to them and they say something like oh is, is there a chakra in the foot you know it's just like they could have been something like really inconsistent where somebody said that they wanted to learn about all these things or they you know were really wanting to expand their conscious awareness but the actions may have not aligned with it um but there's something about you not becoming like disillusioned by this right i feel like you became aware of it maybe you could have said something to somebody and it came in one ear and out the other all right it's almost like um there's two different completely planes of consciousness and powers of this of these dynamics right and this person did not awaken to their full power or full potential with the flame because the flame could set something alight and it could create this huge um like blazing fire right but they're having trouble lighting up just a candle that's what i kind of get and i feel like this is about somebody again becoming awakened in some way again you could have been dealing with an unconscious person i feel like this is sleepers within a family dynamic or maybe a friendship or maybe a lover for you guys um and with the venom this is about knowing that where you often strike others is where you've been striked yourself okay and this is saying that you need to break the cycle and this is i feel like about judgment for you guys right um there's something around again not judging people but instead extending compassion to those who have less understanding than you do and realizing that they cannot ever conceptualize like something that you have and this could just be like your knowledge right something that you guys have learned something that you guys have experienced where your conscious awareness has expanded to a point where i can no longer return back to its old dimensions or forms okay and um <clears throat> there's something around that that's coming through for you guys and this is the energy that i get it's like you can't ever speak about summer to a winter insect for he's bound by a single season you cannot speak to a well frog about the ocean for he's bound by his conditions right so there's something around that like they wouldn't even be able to conceptualize it you know it's like you bring a horse to water but you can't make it drink okay there's something around that and um 
with the vision i feel like you were realizing as well um that you this person could have definitely been drawn towards like your vision the way that you spoke about the universe the way that you spoke about uh the cosmos right the way that you spoke about the secret order maybe this is even like the laws of the universe whatever that may be um they could have been drawn towards it like an elixir you know there could have been something around that like it was like a divine elixir maybe you felt like this person was siphoning or harvesting your energy maybe this person liked um they felt like they were kind of attached to the light light within you in some way right with those lightning strikes it's almost like they it's almost like somebody was piggybacking off of your energy i kind of get that energy i kind of get um neptune in the fifth house type of vibes with this where it's like sometimes people wear, will wear like facades and masks and you may be looking at the potential within them that they do not even see within themselves you know that's what i kind of get with this and sometimes you can attract people that will like siphon or want to harvest your energy because again it's like this strong potent elixir and I feel like you began kind of losing the vision of like wanting to assist this person on their awakening journey or their healing journey. And you began focusing on your own destiny and realizing where continuing to be of service to this person when they weren't ready to accept help was doing you both a disservice right there's something about this person going on their own journey to personal awareness and then you also have the offering which is about sacrifice and seeing the sacredness within the sacrifice because it does require this level of vulnerability so i feel like this is where aquarius has really stepped away realizing that um if they are not proud of you then you finally are of yourself you know it's like um it's like the moment that you seek like external validation it compromises your integrity so if you want a witness to your greatest like storm and greatest power you're becoming a witness of your own right of your own making of your own doing of your own creation and there's something about you guys really surrendering to that disorder right knowing that everyone is on their own personal journey to you know self-awareness and we ha even have the vessel at the base so i feel like you're seeing that right anyway i feel like that's what's going on let's go ahead and decode this now with the tarot i want to see the flame who are you dealing with that is representing the flame energy and again you could have felt like with venom like somebody was this even could have been a connection that was very toxic okay this talks about toxic relationships or dynamics of some kind even when it comes to family settings like maybe for like somebody you just felt like very misunderstood right right let's take a look at the flame we have the hanged man The storm is the star card, which is your guys' energy. Let's get and clarify this hanged man. But yeah, that's Neptune energy. And with six of cups. Some of you, it's definitely someone that you have soul contract with. Six of cups is also family. So again, it could be strong family dynamic or someone that you have a lot of history with. Okay. In some way. Even if this is like soul family. But with the hanged man, I feel like you may not realize the effect that you've had on this person's like spiritual awareness or awakening even if they're not like innately tapped into the nature of the, their the reality or like themselves there's something around that like you've played a big part into that and they're having to like really surrender and let go and see it's like this person um especially if you're no contact or you distance yourself from them there could have been like nuggets of wisdom that you guys dropped where they were not ready to listen they were only hearing you in the past and they were not seeing the things that you were telling them to like you know look at right or they weren't look like 
they were only looking at things that you were telling them to see and they were only hearing things that you were telling them to listen but it's like now that you're not there there could be things from the past that's kind of like not haunting them but that they're like replaying in their mind and they're finally like reading in between the lines with neptune energy and the hanged man all right it's like um it's thoth energy so i feel like they're finally kind of decoding cryptic things that you said or things that they weren't really able to conceptualize it's like they're seeing that from a new perspective they're looking at like your past interactions with new eyes you know there's something around that especially with the high priestess like they could see you as this sacred spiritual like archetype you know some of you are really mystical there could have been forms of divination like there's just gems of knowledge that you had kind of like dropped there with the high priestess there's something around that and you said less than necessary there's something around like you said less than necessary around it or the way that you move or like your silence is really deafening during this time but it's like your words or something that you did or something that you said like continues to exist through them right they continue to relive that experience in some way i feel like like it's something about the replaying and replaying in their mind just like they're finally understanding and i don't feel like they're fully understanding the information that you said but there's something around them understanding why you've kind of like pulled away let's take a look at the star card with the storm we have the ace of cups we have the four of swords let me go ahead and grab the other two So yeah i feel like you guys are healing from this connection we have the ace of cups and the justice so i feel like you kind of weighed out the pros and cons around the energy exchange of this dynamic and you've kind of retracted your energy and you guys are pretty much healing and moving on ace of cups i feel like you're just focused on really um filling your own cup first during this time i feel like you're seeing where this is kind of disrupting your own healing journey okay the storm is like um it's like the tower card as well so there could have been something that had to kind of come crashing down maybe you had to remove this person from your life or the universe removed this person from your life and i feel like you're just focused on your own healing journey because we have two star cards all right and we even have the devil behind that there even could be something around like envy yeah we have the devil and we have the empress even behind that so you maybe even felt like this person was kind of obsessed with just your energy and your ability you know there's something about like an elixir that you have right the birth of ideas conceptions enterprises something that you guys do okay and it's like the devil is just obsessed with the empress and wants to keep her in like this cage and wants to like siphon that energy it's like a tangled deception energy right where it's like mother gothel is brushing you know rapunzel's hair and like siphoning the energy from that creative life force because vision is about your life force okay and again it being that really potent elixir so maybe you're seeing where somebody was draining your creative life force because they weren't able to ignite the divine spark that was blazing within them and then i'm seeing the dousing fire card in here which is about you realizing that other people will attempt to douse your own internal flame and leave you choking on the smoke right so this is accepting that this is someone that you had to remove from your life and i feel like you're just focused on like really being uh you know very consciously aware of and very lucid with like the energy exchanges that you have during this time right realizing the effect that they have especially when it comes to like communal environments or the people that you surround yourself with during this time i feel like you're seeing how a connection was almost like harming you more than helping you you know I feel like this person's stuck in the past as well with that energy, like replaying this again and again. Again, some of you, it definitely is a family member. Let 
we have the empty well and we have mindful group think so again you're quite literally being mindful when it comes to your group connections empty well time to replenish is knowing that um you know this situation is now a barren desert there's nothing left for you there right and this is a hole that you cannot dig yourself out of or this person cannot dig themselves out of this hole and there is like a new spring oasis that awaits you you know elsewhere that you guys are probably journeying to towards I mean, I'm seeing like a pilgrim so maybe you feel like you're going through like some kind of spiritual journey or physical journey or you're going through like physical changes in your environment during this time um especially as you like redirect the type of people that you want to be surrounded with people that you feel like would be supportive um with the places that you want to go there with group think I feel like you're trying to find like-minded individuals okay where you don't have to like try to make yourself small to try to fit in right it's like you're no longer trying to like be accepted or be understood where you're misunderstood where people can't even understand themselves you know how are they ever going to understand you it's like people can only meet you as far as they've met themselves but yeah md well time to replenish i feel like you'll focus on the subterranean depths of your own heart okay um you'll focus on what's going to bring you emotional fulfillment because i feel like it's a situational circumstance that really didn't fulfill you you know it's something that didn't bring you that emotional satisfaction so group think again you guys are being more mindful okay especially when it comes to hurtful hurtful thoughts and keeping a clear mind um this is knowing that you can be your mind can be a circus right it can be a temple it can be a cave it can be a prison it can be a place of restriction or a place of never-ending expansion so you're being careful where your mind wanders and you're knowing that you're in a fertile time of full manifestation the seeds that you plant will sprout and flourish into the life that you seek to grow be mindful not to scatter weeds it's easy to be influenced um by others right now okay so i feel like you're seeing where people can keep you um tied to a place of like fear or uncertainty and you're not allowing that to pollute your own mind because you may even have seen like where somebody had been harvesting or siphoning your energy especially if this is in some kind of connection where like they like they began like looking better right like mother gothel like i'm seeing her brushing tangled hair like it literally began making her like um restoring that vital life force because with the devil and the emperor she has that vital life force right she is a birth of stargates the birth of creation the devil does not have that direct connection right it's actually like not severed but they almost operate in a way where it's been severed because they aren't able to access that right they've forgotten that they're a child of light um and they seek for an external light and the empress has such a glow right that's so attractive and that the devil is very drawn towards so again i feel like this is a self-serving parasite it's somebody that like the things that you could do for them it's like they like being attached to your energy even if they wouldn't admit it to you you know it's like an unconscious um obsession that they could have had um so yeah some of you definitely could have been very different okay from and i feel like you could see through this so like you could have been very different you know there's something around because yeah there's something around that so again stay out of gossip and other forms um of group think where you cut another person down to their level due to their perceived mistakes or limit them by envy you activate lack for yourself so you're filling yourself with thoughts of plenty and i feel like you're seeing where again the universe will kind of assist them on their own personal journey to awareness but that's something that you can no longer assist them on because otherwise you're just doing a disservice to yourself so the best thing that you can do is focus on again like it's really centering yourself in the eye of the storm and just observing the changes that are going on around you and not trying to control them okay there's something around that especially when it comes to this person's own journey you know i feel like you guys have kind of like hit a i'm hearing a plateau like something's plateaued there okay um Let's see what the venom was. With the eight of cups reversed. I feel like the venom was like you guys seeing potential in this person that they weren't even able to see within themselves, right? Eight of cups reversed. Some of you, it's like you physically can't block this person. Again, maybe it is a family member, but you're having to like really dissociate or distance yourself. But whenever you are like within their vicinity, there's something around like no longer being able to engage, okay? Um, it's like you can't unlearn something, you can't unsee something, and something just it brings you disappointment you know i don't feel like you're mad at this person i feel like there's just disappointment right you're not judging them but it's just accepting how the situation has gone maybe at first there was like this vicious like cycle with venom right toxicity around you physically couldn't remove yourself um even though it brought you emotional and mental like um burden in that way right 
it like le really left you feeling unfulfilled it's like a dissociative vibe like you were there but you weren't really present you know it's like when you know when you're in a room full of people but you feel so alone right because you don't really feel heard and you feel misunderstood right again we have the death reverse so again a lot of you the venom is like where others strike is where no where you strike is where you've often been struck right and maybe this is like a cycle where you've had trouble you know walking away and creating conscious endings and creating these deaths and um you guys breaking the cycle and realizing that you don't know how strong you want to have no other option to remove yourself from the ego right the ego the vessel that likes to identify itself with particular connections and realizing that there's some kind of like dissolving process that's going on where you no longer identify yourself with maybe a person that tries to assist others right tries to help other people dig them outside of the hole that they've dug themselves in realizing that you're also like digging yourself in that deeper hole you know there's something around that because i'm seeing someone trying to help another person get themselves out of quicksand but there's just double weight holding them down and then you're like collapsing in that hole of like you know stagnation you know it's something around that like not getting sucked up in other people's cycle where they choose where it's like they refuse to evolve and then that also affecting your evolution journey you know it's almost like the venom and the toxic poison was not being able to walk away and i feel like you guys are learning that right with venom it's like you're learning where that was slowly poisoning you and your own personal journey right your own subjective journey okay um let's see what it is that you need more of in regards to this situation and then we'll close out there um we have imagination and we have friendship okay imag imagination coming up reversed i feel like you're kind of becoming disillusioned to like like wanting to keep somebody in your life friendship is about like someone's in your life for a reason a season or a lifetime right and this is knowing that some people are just here as temporary companions on your journey that can include family members um and um yeah i feel like imagination i feel like you're beginning to like entertain other realities you know where you can really discard and dispatch from connections that no longer serve you knowing that they have served a purpose in your life but they also no longer serve a purpose and giving yourself permission to move into a new way of being a new reality and new connections okay changes right changes in your belief systems leads to growth sometimes that means you have to go through growing pains right your evolution journey involves elimination because growth over time leads to evolution so i feel like you're learning that and in order to be able to elevate you have to leave people behind not necessarily leave them behind but kind of focus on your own personal journey so that you don't end up being weighed down right energetically because it will lead to resentment slowly if you continue to fill cups that leave your own depleted so uh, Aquarius I hope that you guys enjoyed this journey hopefully it brought you all the clarification inside that you need along this stage in your in your uh, continuum if you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to stick on for futures you consider subscribing personal reading details are also down below but until next time bye